how to remove the stem on a Seiko 5M23 movement. This is a kinetic movement and this watch is a Seiko Diver 5M236A60. That, that means this video applies to two piece cases like this where you can take the back off. It doesn't apply to one piece cases. This plastic sort of rubber ball thing is really good for taking backs off I discovered recently. Okay, and there she is. So we've got the rotor there and we've got the quartz movement. That rotor is kind of going to get in the way. So I'm just going to use a bit of masking tape to gently hold it to one side. Right, we need to release the stem. And to do that, there's a little sort of release lever over here. But it's kind of partially hidden by this bit of metal. So we need to pull the crown out one click to make that visible. It's a diver's watch, so it's got a screw down crown. So first of all, unscrew the crown and then pull it out one click and we'll see that lever move, there we go, into position. Okay, so now the sort of black dimple, the dark dimple on there is visible. Do that one more time. This is the normal position. Pull it out one click and that dimple is visible. Incidentally, if we pull it out one more click, there we go, it's hidden again. So just one click and then with something sharp, push down gently in that area on that dimple. As you push down, you should be able to pull out the stem. Yeah, there we go. To put the stem back in, you don't need to press on the dimple again. Just slide the stem in, if I can. Oh. There we go. Wiggle it about a bit. Don't push too hard. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, and do not forget to screw down the crown again if it's a diver. Okay, and obviously get rid of the tape, put the case back back on, and you're ready to go. How to remove the stem on your Seiko 5M23 movement.